Monarch Butterflies by Gail Gibson. A monarch butterfly settled on the leaf of a milkweed plant. It is summertime in the north. A breeze steers the steam of the milkweed plant. The monarch egg, it's white and shiny. It is the size of a small dot and sticks to the leaf. When the butterflies lay eggs, she makes it sticky. Wind and rain cannot make the egg come loose. A few days, the egg hatches. Out crawls a small caterpillar, also called larva. First, caterpillars eat the eggshell and then crawls away at the milkweed leaf. The egg of a monarch is almost always laid on the milk plant. The plant will be its food. The caterpillar eat and grows and begins to change. It breaks out of its old skin, showing a new skin underneath. This is called molting. For two weeks, caterpillars eat and eat. It molds about five times. Finally, it is a full-grown monarch caterpillar, about two inches long. Now, something wonderful begins to happen. The caterpillar creeps to the stem of the leaf. It attaches itself to the stem and drops down head first. The caterpillar, bright color, become greenish. Then, the skin spills and moves up to the top. The skin falls off. A new strange form appears. It is called chrysalis or pupa. The chrysalis is like a blanket that wraps around the body growing inside. At first, the chrysalis is long and soft. Then it shrinks and hardens and becomes light green decorated with gold dots. Inside, the monarch butterfly begins to grow. About two weeks later, the chrysalis changes again. It turns gray-green before becoming transparent. Inside, there are white dots and orange and black lines. The chrysalis wiggles. Then, it spills open. The butterfly begins to pull itself out. The head and the legs appear first. And then the rest of it slides out. The wings are tiny and stuck together. And the butterfly abdomen is big. The abdomen becomes smaller when the fluid is pumped into the wings. The wings become bigger. A caterpillar has turned into a butterfly. This is called metamorphosis. The butterfly sits quietly for a few hours, waiting for its wings to dry and harden. At last, they begin to move slow and then beats faster and faster. The butterflies flutters up towards the sky. Monarchs have a bad taste and it will make a bird or animal stick if they are eaten. So most of them are left alone. There are many parts of butterflies. The scale of the wings makes up the colors. The feathers or antenna is for touch and smell. The tube to the mouth is called proboscis. It stacks up sweet juice called nectar from flowers. Then they have the thorax, the legs, the abdomen. The monarch butterfly only flies during the day. When it rains, the butterfly stays dry, hidden under the leaf. Fall is on the way. Soon, it will be cold. If the monarch butterfly doesn't fly south, it'll die. Once again, 
it darts up into the sky. The butterfly will take a long trip to a warm place. This is called migration. The monarch will fly to where his ancestors have always gone, sometimes to the very same tree. Other monarchs keep appearing, making a cloud of orange in the sky. At night, they rest in trees. Sometimes they fly up to 12 miles an hour and almost a hundred miles in one day. There could be over 1,000 butterflies traveling together. They fly to places such as Florida, Southern California, and Mexico. Some butterflies migrate 4,000 miles. They will stay south through the winter. Some towns and cities are proud to have the butterflies visit them. They have festivals to celebrate their arrival. Children dress up for parades in butterfly costumes. Sometimes there's a van and visitors come from all around. Monarchs came closer together, thousands of them clinging to one tree, a butterfly tree. In spring, these butterflies will migrate north again to the fields of milkweed plants.